Welcome back everyone, this is CNS Gaming. So this is episode 29 of No Man's Land. We're currently headed into town because there are uh, two new upgrades done to the town that you guys are going to want to see. We're going to need a new owner for the one business. The other business has an owner already, but we'll go into that more once we get down here. So it's right up here. The first one is right here next to the um, farmer's market. So this here is going to be a snowplow company and maybe even like landscaping and like stuff like that. So my cousin actually wanted to open up this business. So I went ahead and put that in for him. Now the second business that we have, we're going to need an owner for it. So let's go ahead and reverse here and go ahead and take a look at that. Might as well just turn around because reversing is too slow in this truck. Go ahead and take a look over here. If we make this right turn here. So just to put you in perspective, back there was the farmer's market. Up here is the used equipment dealership and cobbler's pizza is back there as well. But if we come in here, this is our new supermarket. So I made it this big just in case I wanted to expand it. I don't don't really know. Hopefully we get some like parking spaces at some point to place in here. But we have like the lighting out here and then we have the supermarket. I'll put some flowers in front of it and whatnot. And then around the back we have the cell point. It's like right here. So if anybody wants to own the supermarket, let me know down in the comments. We need an owner for the supermarket. Now, if you already own a business, I would say let somebody else have the opportunity to own a business. So, we'll just say, like, probably only one business per person. So, if anybody new wants to own a business, let me know. And we have housing as well. So, there's a couple open houses. I think we have six or seven open houses. So, let me know if you want a house and if you want to own a business. So with that being said, we're going to head back to the farm and kind of see what we have to do. Alright, so we have a decent amount of egg pellets over here, so I figured we might as well pick them up. It is the next month now. I went ahead and skipped through because we currently don't have really anything to do. We're kind of just waiting on harvest right now. We have canola over there that is almost ready. We also have barley that is almost ready as well. So that should be ready here next month, I believe. Let's check the crop calendar. Yeah, so the barley is next month and then the canola is two months from now. So we should be able to get both of them harvested. And let's see if I can't get angled over here a little bit better. I think we're getting caught on the roof there. We probably, probably should move this trailer, I think, somehow. It got hit or something a couple episodes ago. Oh, come on. Come off of there. I can't really see what I'm doing here. Jeez. Um, if we tilt that back. Move the camera a little bit. That should slide off now. There we go. Now go ahead and strap this guy down. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a tractor and just pull the trailer up a little bit. We'll probably actually sell these eggs off because we're pretty full. So let's go ahead and grab the class here. I really do like this tractor. It's pretty nice. So let's get hooked up here. I don't, oh my, I don't even think we're going to be able to hook up to this. We'll probably have to bump it a little bit to... Get to go back in order to get hooked up. Um, let's use the skid steer and kind of push this. Can we not push that? From the looks of it, it does. oh, there we go. Get that pushed over there a little bit. And now that we're in the skid steer, we might as well go ahead and load these up. So, what do you guys want to see in this episode? Let me know. Or not this episode, but like in this series. I'm kind of I'm not running out of ideas or anything like that, but it would be nice to like have some ideas from you guys And if you haven't yet make sure you go ahead and drop a like and if you're new to the channel Make sure you subscribe. I forgot to say that in the opening clip. I believe So if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know exactly like Not really exactly what to do, but give me some ideas on some stuff that you guys want to see me do on the series 
because I have a lot planned but also it would be nice to hear from you guys and see exactly what you guys want to see so we got 25,000 liters of eggs I wonder what the price we haven't even really been checking the prices we probably should start checking the prices because we're running out of wood right now let's see here show prices November so we're only in what are we in we're only in May maybe we'll just hold off on selling these I think we could probably stack this up another how high does this thing go up we probably can get up another stack or two maybe oh yeah this has a pretty big boom we could probably I would say yeah one more stack up so I think we'll get mm, what is that six more we'll get six more pallets of eggs before we sell it off so we'll just let that guy sit there so now that we have all that done I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next day and we'll start rolling on harvest okay so our barley back here is ready to go so we'll go ahead and head over here we'll have a pretty big canola harvest that's for sure we should be able to finish our subscriber contract it has been a while I know I'm sorry but we finally have some soybeans growing up here they should be ready I think I forget when they're ready I think they'll be ready in like the fall sometime around the fall we'll head up here to the top of this field and get going on harvest we're gonna have a ton of canola I do want to get some cows going we are getting up there in the money so we might actually I know we have like a 80 th or how much loan do we have I know we paid back some of it let's take a look here at our loan eighty thousand dollar loan so man I don't know I was kinda of thinking about maybe taking out a loan and getting some stuff to do cattle but I feel like that would be kinda of cool to do some uh, cows on here how much is the cows fiddle load here don't want that to crash my game has been crashing a lot lately so we could get this cow barn right here you look at this like this is the one that I was probably gonna get anyway because it's kinda cheap it only holds 45 cows but that's the same as this one right here and this one's 254 and then this one's only 50 or 80,000 so it's a lot cheaper but it kinda doesn't I mean it kinda does match like the old school kinda look to everything and if we put the cows out here, I feel like this would be a pretty cool spot. And it has like the little storage in here. This is like a really cool barn. I really do like this barn. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we place this? Like we have enough money. We do have plenty of money. I don't know if we're going to have money to buy cattle. And I don't know. Should we put this like more over to one way maybe? Like more over here and then put like a path around it should we swing it around like this how should we put this I'm not sure how I want it to be maybe we'll put it like this because this kind of comes in off the road here and that goes up into the top of the barn we kind of want to stick this way a little bit more we can't cut off some of that field we have pretty decent sized fields right now so I'm not too worried about that I hate how I can't get this perfect like can't get it to be perfectly straight it's either one way or the other which is kind of annoying I'm sure other console players have that same trouble we can maybe place this what do you guys think should we place it right here I think we should go for it yep there we go we just did it it's not perfectly straight but we have it and it's in there so I'm thinking if we connect this road, maybe kind of bring it, we'll keep it out this way and then cut it like down along here, kind of keep it along the field. Maybe we could even expand this field out a little bit now and kind of have like a path going through here. We'll kind of see how that all plays out. I wasn't really planning on getting cows this episode, but that kind of just happened. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's go into landscaping, head back down here and you see you guys see how it like shows like the field over here by this rock how all this area is like field 
So whenever I cut the stumps, like all this little area of field kind of shows up from what I covered up, which I don't know why. It really is kind of annoying that it does that. But hey, I guess it is what it is, I guess. Like, let me get rid of this little area right here. And then I don't think we can... Yeah, that's about the end of our land there, so we'll bring this out to about right here. That can be kind of the entrance area. We could wrap our road down along here. I think there's nothing that we really need to get in over here, so we can just make all of this here grass. We'll just make this all grass. There's kind of like a under drive right here, so maybe we won't make it all grass. Hmm, what should we do? I hate how this is like so crooked, I think. We just make, I think we're just going to go ahead, make this area straight up along here. And I'll put kind of a little road around here or something. Put like a little bit of a road around here. I wish I could get this area all squared off with the building and stuff, but it is what it is. Put this little area here, just since there's a drive through right there, and then we'll touch this all up so here and then this we can make this a little bit bigger so we can get through to get the slurry and we'll be able to start producing organic crops now once we get some cows going so that'll be pretty cool we still have a lot more equipment to buy we're gonna need to get a we have a mower I don't know, I kind of want to get a different one though, I don't really like that one, and there's a pretty cheap one that I found, so maybe we'll grab that guy, Let's go ahead and put some grass in here, to make it look nice, put some taller grass in here, like that, and then we can just cut that back a little bit like that, that area is all fine, this is all good, over here we need a little bit of grass, Throw that in there. So, I haven't had cows on a gameplay in a while. I actually started a live stream series on Comsden Farm, and we're going to be doing cattle on there, I believe. So, it'll be kind of cool to have cattle on both of these. It might be a bit of a pain to mix up the food. I kind of hate doing that. That's my least favorite thing about cows. But... It is what it is. We'll get over it. So let's see here. How do I want to bring this road in? I think... I think I want to bring the road up along the field here. So let's go... How big was it? Like that big? Yeah, about that big. We'll just run this road straight along here. And we can fill the rest of that in with grass. Or we can just keep that kind of going this way. I don't know. I don't know if I like that really though. Alright, so we'll put... Yeah, we'll just use a dirt road to come in here. Let me make it about that big. Bring that into here. I like that maybe. Maybe... Mm, let's touch this area up. Alright, so this might... Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to fix this all up and make it look decent. So I'm going to go ahead, finish touching up this area, and then I'll bring you guys back in and show it off. Alright, so I finished up building over here. I threw in a couple little trees just to add a little bit of texture. So if you guys don't know what this barn looks like, there's kind of a upstairs area right here, which is good for, like, storage. Maybe even bales, because right here... Oh, I think this is... Oh, well, no, this is the milk area and the loading point. So this is like the backside right here. This is where you unload the cows at. This is where you get the milk from. If we come back out over here, let's run back. Well, let's take the stairs. We went that way before, so let's go up here. We can open up this door. This is where the milk is. This is like the milk room. And then, what is this down here? That is, this is the feeding point. So if you store bales up here, you could potentially just have like the little hand bell bales and just throw the bales down here. So we could do that, but first off, oh, that's fine. We'll go ahead and come out this way. I want to buy just one cow. 
Let's see. We'll just buy the cheapest cow. Buy one of them. I just want to see exactly what type of food they take. Because I haven't done cows on here yet. So. TMR is 100%. Hay 80%. And grass 40%. So we really don't have to make TMR. Maybe starting out we won't even make TMR. We'll just give them hay. Because hay won't be too bad. And it'll kind of help us out a little bit until we get the because we don't have enough money to get a food mixer and stuff like that so maybe we hold off on that and just feed them hay for right now so we could get a pretty nice setup here for hay let's take a look here um let's see so we have a tether windrower we need a tether so even the nicest one that's that's really big though 17 don't really need anything that big what is that? Nine, that's six, that's eight, that's four. I think if we will be okay, we could probably get away with just grabbing, well, that's an extra point three for five hundred dollars. So we'll grab this guy right here. Okay, that's only sixteen thousand, not too much. And then the mower setup, we have a mower, so the mower that we own, we own this mower right here. But the problem is the back of this is 75000 So I was thinking, what if we just buy one of these guys here? Or we could even just buy like this guy. Like that would do for now. But honestly, if you look at the price, this one's 18000 That one's 25000 This one does windrow. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that one windrows a little. Hmm, did we just buy this one and then save up and get this one and keep this front head and use kind of mis mismatched mowers? Uh, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just buy this guy for now. It'll do, and then we'll use it with this front piece. So that won't be bad. We can use that setup, or we could just buy this because it's only 9,500. What do you guys think? Well, I'm thinking that I'm in a live stream. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll need a windrower, so just ignore me. Sam, what do you guys think? Um, see, that's, that's 8.4 and it's only 19, so we'll grab this guy here. And we need to find somewhere to mow. We need to find a grass area. We could get some pretty big. This is 19 meters. That is crazy. We could have a huge, huge field. We already have a bale loader. We have a baler, so we'll probably just go ahead and do bales. So, all right, and I'm, I turned on the straw swath thing because I forgot to do that earlier. If we jump back over there, let's jump back up here to the harvester. I think this guy is probably full. Okay, well, he stopped for some reason. Go ahead and get him unloaded. He already got full on like a pass down and a pass back, so it's kind of crazy. Go ahead and get this unloaded. So I'm going to go ahead, run up to the store, grab all of that stuff that we just purchased. And I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a field to make into a grass field. I'm not really too sure what field to use. I mean, we have a little bit of grass area that we can cut for right now just to get a little bit of food. But in the future, we're going to need a grass field. So maybe... Let's see, we have this field here. This is a pretty big field. I think that would be a really big field. Um, just kind of thinking. So we have this area right here that we can mow for right now. And then this little area right here we can mow. And also we own this area right here so we can mow that up. Hmm, do we just make this here area just like a big grass field? Like come up here, around here, and then up through here and make this a grass field? That actually wouldn't be a bad idea, but I mean, it is pretty big. I think that's our biggest field. We could do this field since it's kind of awkward shaped. Maybe we'll do this field. I don't really want to do that field. It's pretty far away. Um, I'm trying to think here. We could do the front field here. Maybe we'll do this field up here. This field up here could be a grass field, possibly. And then eventually we'll probably take these trees out and then we can make this area right here a grass field. 
which wouldn't be a bad idea honestly and it's right next to the cow uh, the cow barn so i'm gonna go ahead like i said i'm gonna get this turned around and head up there and i'll see you guys in a little bit once i get everything well probably once we start mowing all right so the other tractor did not have enough horsepower to run both of these mowers so what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of a time lapse so i'll see you guys here in a little bit Just finished up mowing that these couple oh we think we don't have crop destruction turned on i know we should but with sugar beets is kind of annoying to turn it on and off but anyways i mowed a couple areas here i mowed this area right here in the area over by the cow barn now what i'm going to do is go ahead and ted this turn it into hay have to pick up the windrower from the shop up there and then we will windrow all this together and use our baler to bale it most of this stuff is going to get done off camera though i'm just going to bring you guys in for bits and pieces of it just to kind of update you guys and show you what we're doing we didn't get too much grass i don't believe i'm not sure how much we're going to have here once we ted all this and bale it but we should have a decent amount it'll definitely be enough to feed a couple cows so we might purchase a couple more cows and then kind of go from there. So let's see here. I don't want to let's lift up. I don't want to kick that into the fence too far. So let's kind of go back here and start. I don't want to miss any either though. There we go. Not looking too bad. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, ted all this up, and then I'll grab the windrower, windrow it, and I'll probably see you towards the end of windrowing, and then we'll start bailing, and feed our cow. We might get a couple more, maybe like five cows to start out or something like that. Feed them, and then we'll probably end up wrapping up the episode, and obviously we'll finish up harvest as well. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. almost forgot to bring you guys back in. Jeez, I was just sitting here kind of in my own world. Um, Ted in the, uh, um, <clears throat> shoot. What am I doing? I'm windrowing this. It's kind of in my own world windrowing all of this. And then I was on the last pass and I was like, shoot, I said I was going to bring you guys back in. But I got everything windrowed here. So let's head back. I'm actually thinking about placing up a different shed for all the mowing equipment because I don't want all of it piled on top of each other because this shed that we have right now is like a really deep shed. I was kind of thinking about maybe getting a different shed. We did finish up harvest, so let's just take a look at what we got here. 
We have 20,000 liters. So let's go ahead and throw that into the silo here and get that done. But if we take a look here, let's see, sheds. There was a couple new ones that i seen on the mod hub. I don't know if any of them will be kind of what I'm looking for. Like, honestly, this wouldn't, um, I don't know if that would be big enough. Um, what is this? That's that really long one. Yeah, I don't want to get that one. Let's see. They're all bigger ones. Where was this one going to be bad? That's 40,000. I, I really like this. I really, really like this one. What else? There was a new one today that I seen. This one wouldn't be bad for the mowy equipment either. Put the baler, tatter, mowers in here. That wouldn't be too bad. This guy, eh, that's a little deeper. Let's see here. Where was that one? This one right here, I believe. This one wouldn't be a bad one, but I, I'm so in love with this shed where's it at here i am just like in love with this shed i would say we could put it right here this would be a really nice spot for it but we have this bale shed here and we could swing it around and what if we like swung this guy around and put it right here that wouldn't be bad that actually would fit right there perfectly hmm that might be something to do right there like that that's actually like a perfect fit but we'll hold off until probably next episode hopefully I remember let's go ahead and put this away right now I just have everything kind of piled up over here so everything just like right on top of each other but it'd be nice to have all of the grass equipment and like the baler all in one kind of area so to have it all like this and have to pull everything out to get something out so i hate having all this equipment piled up so if we take a look we have the windrower tether and then both the mowers here so it'd be nice if they each had their own kind of spot and same thing with the baler but we'll see how that goes i'm gonna go ahead and pull the baler out because i'm pretty sure it's like stuck in behind of all this equipment and I'll see you guys once I get it pulled out. Alright, I got the baler out. Let's go ahead. We'll just drop it down and start bailing. So, this is my first time. I'm, I believe this is my first time doing hay on Farming Simulator 22. So, it's pretty cool. We have, I don't know how much we're going to have off of this. Probably not too much. This little baler on this huge tractor is kind of funny. This baler is so tiny compared to this tractor. But we have a decent amount of hay. I think we'll buy a couple more cows. Probably like 5 to 10. Start out kind of small and work our way up. We still have a bunch of straw to bale as well. Let me turn that to auto unload. Make my life a little bit easier. A square baler would be nice, but for now, we're kind of just stuck with this guy because that's all that we can afford. I don't really have too much money. Maybe in the future we'll get, well, definitely in the future we'll get a square baler. Just not sure exactly when because funds are a bit tight right now. And we still have that $80,000 loan taken out. So we can't go too crazy. Yeah, let me drop this bale in between of the rows so we don't run into it while bailing. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch this for too long. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera probably for a little bit longer and we'll do most of this off camera and I'll probably bring you guys back in after I'm done and we'll pick up the bales and kind of go from there maybe buy a couple more cattle and wrap up this episode so 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in and I'll see you guys whenever I have all of this bailed. All right, I finished up all the bailing and you can see our money went down. I actually put up a shed over here so we'll come take a look at it. We actually got a decent amount of bills, so let's go head over here. So as you can see, I threw up that shed right there and I moved all of our milling equipment and whatnot over here. So it's kind of all in one spot and easy to access. So if we take a look here, I really like this shed. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this shed and everything will fit in there? And then we even have extra room right here. We could throw something in if we need to. But yeah, I think that's just nice to have to make it easier on me to hook everything up and not have to move eight things just to get the mower out or something like that. But let's see how many bales we got off of this area. We got, we really did get a decent amount, honestly, more than what I thought we were gonna get. Go ahead and pick these up. I'm not sure where we're gonna put them. I'm pretty sure they don't rot, so we don't really have to worry about the bales rotting too much. But I would like to keep them undercover just to kind of be more realistic. But for right now, we just, I don't know. We don't really have anywhere to put them. Um, let's just shoot across here. It'll be all right. I'm sure they won't mind us driving right across here. But yeah, our farm, it's really coming together, honestly. It really is coming together. We've got a lot of stuff going on for us, so... It's good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just... I mean, if this wasn't a swivel hitch, we could unload the bales inside of... the barn here, but I think that would be a little bit tricky to back up. The feed area is right here, so I think if we just unload the bales, like, right along here in this grass area, maybe we'll even... Let's go ahead and kind of make this kind of like a dirt area to put the bales in. Um, let's go into paintings here. Make it asphalt. Um, is there like a dirt? That's a different color dirt. I have gravel, grass, foresty ground. This is only dirt. Um, I have animal mud. Maybe we'll throw some of this down. I don't really know what this looks like. It probably doesn't look too bad. Just to put some bales on. I kind of need to touch that up a little bit right there. I'll do that off camera. We got some grass covering the asphalt there. So we'll get that touched up. Let's see. We'll make it kind of out to like here. That should be... I think that should be plenty big. And I think we have a bell spike. I'm not sure. If not, I'm gonna have to bail, bail one. I'll have to bail a bail spike. I'll have to buy a bail spike if we don't already have one. I'm pretty sure that we do, though. I'm not 100% sure, though. So if we go ahead and unload them there, go ahead and back this guy up out of here. Oh, and we hit a bail. So I'm gonna run over, grab the John Deere with the front loader and I'll see you guys once we get back over here okay so we did have a bail spike I thought that we did so let's go ahead first thing I want to do I think we're gonna get about five cows so let's buy we'll buy them like this we'll buy four more so we have a total of five cows I'm not sure how much hay that they're gonna take we'll find out here in a second Eventually we will use TMR, but um, I need to drop that down a little bit. But for now, it's just going to be a lot easier because we don't really have money to buy all the equipment and whatnot. It'll be a lot easier just to feed them some hay. So let's go ahead. Pretty sure this is where we put the food at. Let's go ahead and drop that down there. And they took all of that. Geesh. Oh. We can open that up. So yeah, here's our cows. We got two in there and then three of them outside. It must be feeding time. They're all running in here. Let's take a look here and see how they're actually doing on food. Oh wow, that barely gave them any. Jeez, we're going to have to give them a ton of bales. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and grab a couple more bales then. I did not think that they were going to take that much food. I thought one bale would have them full and be good, but obviously not. Let's go ahead and grab two of them here. Should be able to fit this through the door all right. That drop down there. Oh, so they're going to need even more. We're, we might not have enough bales. We might need some more grass area to harvest. Or to mow, I should say. Go ahead. This should... Well, honestly, this probably isn't going to be enough either. But once they get full, I'm not sure. I think it's... I forget how long... The food lasts once it's full. How much have we put in here so far? Can I... That's the cow. Can I see how much food is in here? Do I have the thing turned on? We're still not full yet. Do I have the field info on for this? Let's take a look here. Um, it should tell me how much food. Show me for the animals. What if I like hop over here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's um oh we need to give them some straw too I almost forgot need to give them straw but yeah straw for their bedding let's give them two more bales I think that will do it and then we'll wrap up this episode next episode we'll do the straw baling and the harvest Let's see how they're looking now. Where are the cows at? So yeah, they're almost full. That should be good. Um, I'm probably just going to keep this tractor over here because it's going to be mainly used to feed animals now. So we'll let that sit there. Let's go ahead and shut the barn doors so they don't get out here. We have all the doors open from doing our little tour. It's not a door. We'll shut that door. Go ahead and shut this door, and then we'll shut this door. So, we're going to need to give them some straw. They'll produce slurry. We can put up a manure pit if we want manure. I'm not sure if I want manure or not. Maybe in the future. But for now, that's going to be it. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. I will see you guys next time.